If they weave the car back and forth, they clear those tires off. When they go down in turn one, they have a better chance of having maximum grip. Because if you don't do this, sometimes you go in turn one and it feels like you're on okay. ice. Coming to the green. Coming to the green. Two laps to the finish. If the caution comes out before then, the race is over. J.J. Ailey tried to chase down Clint Boyer. He's not been able to do anything with him for some time now. Here we go. Very, very slow Great now. Flag. Great flag. Blast away. Oh, and something happened to the 60 car. He must have missed a shift or something. Now it's going again. No challenge up front. Boyer, two car lengths back to Yaley. Coming to the white flag. Well, every once in a while, the class of the field don't oh, cause trouble. Man, Spin one into the wall in the corner. Come on, come on, come on. Have not seen the caution flag. That'll be it. You'll be coming to the checker. Come to the checker. No caution. No caution. Come on to the checker. It was Regan Smith that went around. He has driven away. Checkered flag is up. Dominating performance today by Clint Boyer. What a win. Checkered flag. Good job, <laughs> real way to hang in there. We had some bad luck, but, uh, you know, we hung in there. They tried to let coming down to the checkered flag back for about 15. A little congratulatory wave there for his title rival. What a day, Clint Boyer. Dominating this race, leading 137 laps. All night long, and this car is really hooked up. Coming to the white flag here. You got six car lengths. Get two more good corners. Nice and smooth. Boy, nice calming voice from your spotter. Clint Boyer is less than a mile away from his first victory in 2007. Well, trouble the one car, J.J. Yaley, and right in the side is the 47 of John Wood, who had nowhere to go. But the white flag had waved, and the yellow is waving on the racetrack as they have heavy, heavy contact. And here's the checkered flag for Clint Boyer, who will take the win. We do not have a green-white checkered once the white flag has waved, so Boyer gets the victory. Kenseth is second, Jeff Burton, Denny Hamlin, Carl Edwards in the top five. Hard impact. There's the 47 out on their tires, and and that's really the the winning move here uh, as we get down to the end of this race. So Clint Boyer into the final time around this three-quarter mile track here at Richmond. He's got lap traffic in front of him, but I don't think it's going to matter. There's the gap back to Matt Kenseth. You saw the Dish Network car around turn four, and for the second time this year, Clint Boyer is going to see the checkered flag first at Richmond. That's the battle for fifth, and it's going to go to Kyle Busch over Greg Biffle. So it's Boyer, Kenseth, Burton, Harvick, and Busch. That's your top five as the celebration is about to begin down in the pits. As you might have guessed by the picture just as we went to that, the race has been called. Clint Boyer getting rushed by his team. Congratulations being given. NASCAR just pulled the plug, and Clint Boyer has been uh, declared the winner of this race. His sixth nationwide victory in what is the first ever rain-shortened nationwide series race at this track. While they push the car to victory lane, Shannon is with the winner. Well, there's relief, a smile on Clint Boyer's face. His first win here at Bristol under rain conditions. You said you always wanted to win here, Clint. How does this feel? Oh, it feels awesome. I'll take it any way you can get it. You know, uh, Casey Kane, you know, he raced me clean. He had the best car, and, uh, you know, it's not always the best car wins, but... Uh, yeah, this is special. This is a racetrack that's always been special to me ever since I come here. It's hard to race on, and, uh, you know, you've, you've earned it uh, when, you, when you roll into victory lane. Dan and all the guys on the bb &T Chevrolet, Monte Carlo SS, they just do an awesome job. Uh, really, really proud of all the guys and all of our sponsors, all of our partners. Well, I know everyone was aware of the rain that was coming. When you were racing on that track as we were getting closer to the halfway point, how aware were you of where we were in the race? Well, I knew, you know, we knew going into the race that it was going to happen. Everybody was worried that it wasn't even going to make halfway so I was just trying to hold him off as hard as I could race as hard as I could but uh, 
everything worked out. All right, well, Clint Boyer, one of the drivers going for a nationwide series championship here this year. Great start for Clint Boyer. Doc? On this restart, too. Hayes' car will pull away, and uh, remember, as you said, DJ, the 60 cannot beat the uh, 29 to the start-finish line. Yep. You know, we talked about in the countdown show that the guys that might be in the catbird seat here might be the guys in third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. If they can get a nice little run going. We'll see. Man, great start by Carl Edwards on the outside. He, he didn't beat him there either. He, he timed it perfectly. He laid back just a little bit, but he had a little bit of momentum by the time they got there. And he's got it right now. Man. Got a push. Keselowski is just shoving Edwards in and turn one. Yeah, and what he needs is that 12 car to get up behind him to really have a good chance. Man, what a start those two guys got. Here they come off a of two, and Edwards has him by about six inches. Oh, yeah. Get a big push from Keselowski. Gets him actually loose. As yeah, you have to be careful, corner. yeah, because he's Don't trying to get over there to get a little side Still draft there. here. Okay. Don't let yeah. that 1800 you. Now Kyle Busch pushing Boyer. Boyer just trying to hang on to that car. It gets very loose in three. Coming to the white flag, and it's just like Yellow we're line. seeing. Oh, look at that 10 car slide Man. up there. Well, Casey Kane up across the racetrack. And oh, he trouble. is all over the place. They got another crash. Oh, white. Mike Bliss hard into the wall. The white and the caution flag. And heavy damage. There's Bliss. There's a 23 car of Robert Richardson. Well, that'll do it right there. They took the white flag. Looks like that might be the win for Clint Boyer. And on the caution, it's where they are on the racetrack. Right. <laughs> well, we <laughs> well, Childress needed that right now. There, he got his first career Daytona pole today, and he got his first career Daytona win tonight. Clint Boyer gets it done here in the NASCAR yeah, Nation Watch here. I'm waiting to see that checker flag, and then I'll holler. <laughs> yeah, he's just like me. They're not yeah. over till you see that checkered flag, but uh, I think it looks good, good for you, Richard. Character. Great job, everybody. Tribute there. What you don't want to do is think the race is over, come down pit road right now. That's We've exactly seen that right. We've seen it happen. That's why you don't see Richard celebrating yet. Uh-huh. He's been around a long time, and now finally for the first time in his career, Clint Boyer will come down and <laughs> take the checkered flag as a winner at Daytona. The 18 almost pulled down there. There it is. Now they can celebrate. Hell of a job, Clint. You've done it, buddy. Hell of a job. Good job there, Doug. Everybody. Richard Childress, 53 wins and now 54 as a NASCAR Nationwide Series owner. We, uh, oh. This has been really good on the bottom of the racetrack. Able to get off as we come to the white flag. Clint Boyer. One more time, nice and smooth, no pressure. He was the best in both practice sessions. Did not qualify all that well. Started 16th. But right now, he's got a full second over Mike Bliss and Brad Keselowski down into three and four for the final time. And it looks like the number 29 is going to give Richard Childress a belated birthday present. He was 64 on Monday, and happy birthday, Richard. Your man just won for you. Here we go. Look at this a little further back. Speed battling Ruderman, and he gets this position for eighth. And even further back into the field, Kenseth comes across 11th with Wallace, 12th. And what a run for Michael good Annette. Day, comes good through. Job, guys. Man, good job, guys. Good job. Michael Annette comes through to finish 13th after going to a backup car and starting in the back of the field. Great run for that team. Let's check in with.